Good day grade 11s. Welcome to this last lesson on equations and inequalities. In this lesson we're going to be learning about the nature of roots. But what are roots? When we factorize a quadratic equation we are finding the roots of the equation. In other words we're finding out where it cuts the x-axis. Now the standard form of the quadratic equation is ax squared plus bx plus c and it can be rearranged into the quadratic function or the quadratic formula where x is equal to minus b plus or minus b squared minus 4 c all over 2a. Now this quadratic formula we use to solve for when it cuts the x-axis but this quadratic formula can actually tell us more about the roots of the equation without actually finding the numbers and that's what I'm going to show you, you today. So first of all we need to talk about what the discriminant is. What the discriminant is is this part of the quadratic formula they've said let the discriminant which they've given the symbol delta this is the symbol delta okay capital D delta delta is equal to b squared minus 4ac okay and what they're going to do is they've realized that if we know something about the delta then when then we can tell you something about the roots of this what x is going to be so let's have a look at this if delta is greater than naught, okay, then we are looking at this being bigger than naught. Then if we look at it, we're going to have x is equal to minus b plus or minus the square root of some positive number over 2a, which means that we end up with two answers, right? We've got x is equal to minus b plus the square root of a positive number over 2a, or we've got x equals minus b minus the square root of a positive number all over 2a. So what does that tell us? That tells us that if we had to draw our graph and we assume that it's a happy graph, we're going to end up with two places, I don't know where they are, but we're going to end up with two places where this is going to cut the x-axis. So therefore we can say that we have got two unequal real roots. Two roots that are unequal, they're not the same, and they're real because they can be found on the number line. And this is really just telling us that we are cutting the x-axis with this graph in two different places. Right, let's look at what happens when delta equals naught. So if delta equals naught, then we've got my x is equal to minus b plus or minus the square root of zero over 2a, which results in us having minus b plus the square root of zero over 2a, or minus b minus the square root of zero over 2a. Now I know that we've been pedantic because this both comes out to be minus b over 2a but the reason I'm writing that this is because what we say is when they ask you what the nature of the roots are we say that we've got still got two roots but in this case they're equal and because they can be written on the number line they are real. So we've got two equal real roots. So what is this saying? This is really saying that if you have a quadratic it is just touching just touching the x-axis, just touching the x-axis on that side or it's just touching the x-axis if it's a negative graph. Okay, So it's just touching, it's two equal real roots. Now let's look at if delta is smaller than naught. If delta is smaller than naught, okay, then we've got x minus b equals minus b plus or minus the square root of a negative number all over 2a. But what is the square root of a negative number? From our previous lesson we learned that this was non-real or we can call it imaginary. So therefore this doesn't work so we have no real roots and what that means is the graph does not cut the x-axis at all. It doesn't, it has no real roots. In other words, your graph is going to have a turning point somewhere above the x-axis or somewhere below the x-axis, but it doesn't cut the x-axis at all.
Right, so let's look at an example. It says, what is the nature of the root of x squared minus 2x minus 7? So we know that delta is equal to b squared minus 4ac. We're just going to write a, b, c down here and see what they are. So a is 1, b is minus 2, and c is minus 7. Now we're going to substitute in. So b is going to be minus 2 squared minus 4 times 1 times by c, which is minus 7. So minus 2 squared is 4, minus times minus is a plus, 4 times 7 is 28, which is 32, which is bigger than 0. So therefore we know that we've got two unequal real roots. In other words, this thing here cuts the graph, the x-axis, twice. Right, let's look at one more example. It says, for which values of k will the root of 6x squared plus 6 equal 4kx be real and equal? So we know that we're going to be using delta is equal to b squared minus 4ac. And for the roots to be real and equal, this has that equal to 0. But in order to use this, we need to get this into the quadratic form. So let's rearrange it. We've got 6x squared minus 4kx plus 6 equals 0. So our a is 6, our b is everything, the coefficient of the x, which is minus 4k and our c is 6. Right, so let's substitute in and see when we get what values we get for k. So our b is minus 4 k, it's all squared, minus 4 times a which is 6 times c which is 6 and that has to equal 0. So if we do that we get minus times the minus of the plus so we get 4, sorry, 16 16k squared minus 6 times 6 is 36 times our 4 becomes 144 equals 0. So if you look at this carefully you can see that this 16k squared is a perfect square, 144 is a perfect square and separated by a negative. So therefore this is a difference of two squares. So we've got 4k minus 12 or we've got 4k plus 12 equals 0. Therefore, 4k minus 12 equals 0. Or 4k plus 12 equals 0. Therefore, your k is either going to equal 3 or your k is going to equal negative 3. And that's why they've got that values over there. So the values for which this thing here will give us real and equal roots is when k equals 3 or k equals minus 3. Right, grade 11s, that's it for the discriminant and nature of roots. Please make sure you understand how to use the discriminant. And it's actually better if you understand which factors lead to real equal roots or unequal, in other words, whether delta is positive or negative, than by just learning it, in case I'm very much against rote learning. It's because you might go blank in the exams. Please make sure you understand, and then go practice and do the assessment at the end of the section. Have a lovely day.